Hi everyone, I'm Sam from Python Basics and we have another awesome video question from Discord. Uh, this is has to do with output and formatting. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So actually this question was posed by our moderator. So we have, let's say we have a dictionary and this is actually the reason why I like this so much is because especially if you're downloading things off the internet you will get a JSON back and they love to be dictionaries inside dictionaries <laughs> inside dictionaries so if you've seen the series on um, uh, my Ameritrade API dictionary upon dictionary I think it's three dictionaries so you have got to pay attention and be aware so all right you have a fruit dictionary a meat vegetable dictionary so then you have your key and value pairs that's your problem that you're working through so um, the way that they took took off on this was items which is very nice but the dilemma is when you first come through here and you're starting to handle formatting you have a dilemma where when you hit your first level you come through and you get this then you get the subsequent printout of the key and value after your key from your first level so just like this so all right so i took the opportunity to kind of juice this a little bit because this was the first attempt you run this you hit your dictionary, you go through, you get your key, you run it out. But I thought this was a wonderful way to handle a condition. So let's just look at this. So let's get all this in here. And I'll have this all in the uh, description, but you could also always just jump over to Discord and see this all yourself. So I've actually answered this already over there. So all right, here are our here's our dictionary, and then we have we wanted to have the name of this dictionary, then the contents, then this output, and go from there. So this is the way that I attacked it. So for key and food, because this is our dictionary. So then we see we have layers of keys. Let's put this in so you can see it. So if you're new here, thank you so much for running across and joining us. But make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. And super important, make sure you're staying tuned until the end because there are over 800 videos and I bet you haven't seen them all. So all right, we have dictionary food, then you have a key fruit, veg, veggies, and meat. And then inside and then their values are the, is then another dictionary. So, all right. so this is how I handled it. Because when you have this first output, let's copy this, and you run this, you get this indention here, and we the goal, the goal is to have this formatted just like so. Fruit, then its contents, veggies, then its contents, then meat, and its content. All right, so let's get that out. So all right, so we got for key in food, then print, and I went an F string, and then actually let's stay consistent. Here we go. Close this out and key, and I. I'll just go ahead and throw this in there because we're going to have a dilemma of spacing if we do not handle our padding. And we're going to let this be empty. Then I'll type this in, but I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second. And for key value in food. Dot key so this is how I'm digging into each level right here so my first hit on this is I, I find key 
So boom, key, key, key. Then I'm gonna print out the contents, just like that. And dot items. All right. Now this is how I'm handling this situation right here. Key, padding, 10, then value, close that out, then else, print, and I tabbed over, then I think it's one, two, three spaces, then my placeholder, key, 10, close out, then my value. And I'll explain to you why I did it this way. So now let's run it again. Oops. And I gotta change this to false. So what did I, why am I doing true, indent true, and indent false? So basically, let's see if I got my, bring back one, run, all right. So now let's dig into what we did here. So on this first indention, I'm just printing it right afterwards. So I'm using my end, my new line suppression right here, and then I'm adding this to it. But now, now if true, I'm just coming down here and I'm printing this new line. So let's go through this one more time. So the first time through, I print my key with my spacing on my first, on my first loop through my main dictionary right here. So I'm gonna hit fruit, then I'm not going to go to a, to, to a new line, then I'm gonna print out key value. If this is true, this is my first time through right here, no spacing, no tab, no extra spacing. So print it right after that. But since I only do this once, I now am going to go false. So it will not print this until I'm done with all of the contents in this dictionary. Then I go out to my second key or my next key. Then I suppress my new line then I print the subsequent contents after the first one. So this is how, this was my version, oop. And I think I needed a space. There we go, all right. Yep, I had a space there. So I could close, I, I could have done one of two things. I could have closed this out or brought this back in. So there we go. And I also if uh, I could have done this to have formatting um, for two, it, two or three spaces, but right now I just left it as the contents of one. So there we go. I thought this was a very awesome question and I thought it was very much worthy of um, the YouTube channel, especially when the idea that I had was this. And you could have also gone through and had this all printed up as a string, and but I didn't think that was as elegant or as Pythonic. So there we go, guys. And uh, next video, uh, going to be digging into self. What is self um, for a class? Had that question posed, and then we'll be getting into cryptography, which that question was posed. So kind of just been digging into contents and questions coming from the Discord server. So that's why it is so vital that you're joining. And not only do you have support, somebody's almost always on there. I don't see very, and the thing is that I love about it, I'm, answer, I'm not answering most of the questions. So there we go, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.